<clears throat> Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Assassin's Creed Bloodlines episode something. Here with your host, Betaman Command. There's that upgrade that I cannot buy because we're that short. My fingers are like centimeters away. That short of money or points or whatever. So previously, Altair just helped Marie Maria's troop of strippers enter a castle. Whose castle it might be? Well, from that objective, I'm guessing Shalim's. And we're probably heading to a boss fight. Yeah. We're that we're nearing that time of day, folks. Boss fight in the horizon. But before I elaborate on that very, very intriguing boss fight, I have in my hands that post-its of stories that I will tell you today. Look, I'm just taking a look, see at the... Trying to synchronize, synchronize, synchronize. Okay. So I had much hell for two weeks straight. Actually, three weeks. Because two weeks ago, starting from January 23, I um, participated in a charity run where all the proceeds would go to a charity blah 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 and you know most charitable stuff so I participated in a run 5k to be exact um, I knew it was gonna begin at the uh, it was on a Sunday which which um, I didn't like or was it Monday but I don't know, maybe Altair's sword fighting skills would, would probably help me remember. Actually, just from seeing that, I don't want to remember. So it was on a weekend, and it was early in the morning, so we had to run for more than an hour. When I, when I, um, actually before, even even before reaching the half part of that run I was tired as hell I could be out of shape though your mileage may vary um, I don't exercise that well so I could be invoking the trope of unfit let's player so actually it was me and my family who run who ran in 5k um, me and my brother did fine. My 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 mom probably walked all the way, and my dad. Well, he he did good too. He ran. Um, though I didn't see him after that one U-turn. It just happened in a in one long avenue. We had two U-turns. It was near our school, so that's why we had to run near near the school in, in one long avenue. We had the roads blocked, and when there was traffic. Well, it was inconvenient for them because it was slowing them down. And it was like, we're decorating the road with plastic cups devoid of water. And, you know, it's pretty sad for those people who are going to clean up that mess. Especially for us since we study in a Catholic school and we are taught to reuse, reduce, and recycle. And that guy was just an idiot. He fell off the ledge. <laughs> My initial reaction to that when I saw it when I was playing, I said, what the hell was he on? I want some of those too. Crap, I almost dropped my post-its. So following the bot the run, um, we engaged in a day of celebration. A day of joyous celebration. It was our school's foundation day. And before Altair could sneak into the castle of Shalim where actually our process of stealth would begin after we enter through the door of loading um, those three days of glorious celebration turned out work for us you know we had to work on that very day years before we just had have we just had fun we like bounced on bouncy castles played basketball video games ps2 um, recently Xboxes and ps3 but back then it was mostly ps2 
and the occasional Xbox, but still pop PS2 was way popular back then. So anyway, it was it when we were planning our jobs for the our our foundation day, we were told not to do any booths regarding video games because most of the games we will allow to play are violent or will encourage violent acts like you know Resident Evil, Silent Hill, um, Call of Duty, Halo, and all that other jazz, which saddened me because that's why we play video games to let out our inner frustrations, like killing people, knifing them in the back, shooting their heads off, or genitals, whatever. So that that really saddened me. Plus, another thing, we cannot play. Um, water sports thing. The one with with water inside balloons. Water balloons. So there, I'm such an idiot. I forgot that that little word. Also, before I go on, the, the sneaking in was a little difficult because I wasn't aware with the area. I do not know the entire area because this is the first time I have been here. Period. You know, this is like a virgin experience. Like, you know, a shaft you know, going through the... Okay, you know. Birds and the bees. Birds and the bees. <clears throat> so, I just... In our foundation day, we had to sell a lot of stuff. We had to sell bracelets. Leather bracelets. Le bracelets with your name on it. Anything. Uh, actually, we sold hats too. I was also planning to bring my cowboy hat, but you know, forgot. Slow memory, really. I really have slow memory, which is kind of sad for someone age. So for someone who is who's just getting past his teenage years, yeah. And also, this guy is a douchebag because he won't let me pass like three times. That's one count. There's one, and also the other guy from the, on the right side. He won't let me pass either. They are both douchebags. I eventually try to drop down because, but I don't know where to go. You know, exploration is key in this game. And ledges. Ledges are game too. Fair game, they're fair game. Okay, following up for Nation Day. Oh! Maybe I, could, I should skip that one. Also, you know. As you may know that I may be I'm recording these things late at night. It's actually 12:03 a.m. And sometimes at these times of day, uh, I am very very paranoid of what's happening around me. Like there's the, these little sounds happening behind my back and I'm just you know suddenly turning my back trying to see what made that sound only to see a cockroach. Stupid bugs and insects of all sizes. So, some actually today something happened that I think some someone outside was driving drunk because his or her wheels were screeching the asphalt outside. Made me think that he's either drunk or retarded. Him or her. <laughs> I'm sorry, my my earphones just fell off and there's something in them. Probably a bug. But how would a bug be in my earphones? Food for thought. So I was thinking, wow, that guy driving that car is an idiot. Could be drunk, possibly, because. But I have yet to discover. to encounter someone drunk driving in the Philippines. Though our country is abundant of car accidents. Or just car accidents waiting to happen, but still car accidents nonetheless. You know, car accidents, they, they happen frequently. Now, here in what I am doing in Assassin's Creed, uh, I'm trying to see what I should do next, where I should go. Instinct tells me to go down where the actual map tells me where to go. But you know, I trusted my gut on this one and said, maybe there's something above this tower. Maybe there's something pickable, you know, like a collectible or something. 
So I went with my gut, explored, but I dropped down here first because maybe there's something behind door number one right over here. Turns out he was just a Templar Knight. Looking into the horizon where, when I say horizon, I mean stone wall. Yeah, he probably has the IQ, uh, IQ level of a bow and arrow. Distance of that when launched, not really part. And look, Templar coin, paid, exploration paid off. So where was I before that thing with Assassin's Creed? Oh yeah, the idiot driver outside. Uh, I, I took a look and hey, lo and behold, someone's partying outside. A bunch of cars are lined up one side of the street. And I don't know where they are. Though I think my neighbor uh, is gathering his family for some kind of reunion I think or just friendly gathering of my cousin's friends they happen they happen to do that quite a lot especially at night when they should be sleeping well who am I to talk because I should be sleeping right now but no I'm making commentary crap there goes my earphones again also my earphones when they bounce off a surface hard enough the other the end one end would like separate so I think that's the other one the right one yep it's the right one though it still works when I put it back on see tada oh though that's not gonna work next time that too well these guys are just bothersome little mooks good thing they're dispatched easily and we're nearing the end of this video, so I will just, you know, collect the one Templar coin above. And I will make my exit for this video. But before that does happen, I would just like to say that I've reached 100 videos! Woo! I, haven't, I wasn't able to say that previously because I actually... I was making that before I knew that I had a hundred videos but now I have a hundred videos so yippee is that an accomplishment because if it sh if it the if it isn't an accomplishment I should like make a pop-up achievement something there you go <laughs> ah, okay so this guy is stupid while I'm celebrating my hundred video he's walking into a wall though he's gonna get killed See, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And pigeon pointing his ass at us. So I will see you next next time in this next part where we will encounter Shalim.